Hello Internet, and welcome back to another episode of Lux Invictus. I've fixed the mistake I'd made in the star disk with uh, this spoke being the wrong length. And thank you to uh, Star Nanny for pointing that out. Lovely commenters, uh, I love all of you watching this. You're the best. And now, for those of you who stuck around to the end of the last episode, or, I guess, for those of you who are starting off fresh, at the end of the last episode, I'd promised that I was going to tame a cave spider spawner. And, no, I am not going to try doing this in a straightforward manner. That is for people who are not playing hardcore. I uh, nearly uh, lost my run... Uh, last episode to uh, me not being able or barely being able to take uh, cave spiders in a straight fight. So I am about to demonstrate how to cheat or at least uh, how to significantly tilt the odds in your favor. I hope. There is of course a possibility of this going spectacularly wrong because the only thing worse than cave spiders is falling into lava trying to escape cave spiders. But I have a conveniently located lava lake, and I'm pretty sure that A, cave spiders cannot spawn in lava, B, cave spiders will not cross lava to get to me, and C, See, lava gives off enough light that uh, it'll spawn proof a few blocks ahead of it. And D, it'll clear out the cobwebs. And of course, this isn't going to be a perfect fix. Because I know there is another entire row above the uh, cave spider spawner. But the other nice thing about this technique is that if it works, I'm also effectively creating a safe moat. Because I'm pretty sure that the mob AI is not smart enough to uh, do the very creative variant on wall climbing that would be needed to actually get over the moat I'm planning on making. And then I can just keep advancing it one row forward at a time. I feel like this is where I should start adding some uh, maniacal cackling, but uh, I don't have proficiency in cackles maniacally, so you're just going to have to make do without it. And hey, if I do manage to tame the cave spider spawner, that will be a lovely source of string for making candles later. The, this is well off from where the uh, spiders would spawn, but I also believe that it is better to be safe than sorry. And in this case, that means establishing lava quarantine. And I'm aware that this is also going to result in an awful lot of things catching fire next to me. But again, the goal is to light a lot of stuff on fire with this maneuver. And now I'm going to clean out that tunnel and take a digression down that way while I wait for the fire to clear out uh, Ooh, gold. It's not diamond, but ooh, gold. Shiny.
And I know, I know, I'm destroying my torches. But that doesn't matter when what I'm also doing is steadily moving forward to the containment zone for anti-cave spider measures. Okay, I'm glad I started this far out because my technique needs work. That said, it is really satisfying to watch the fire cleanse uh, spawning area. Even if we're currently outside of the actual spawning area, it is really satisfying to watch the uh, fire cleanse the way for me. And I think actually I'm carrying too many source blocks in my inventory. And I'm aware that this is the slow, boring method for clearing out a cave spider spawner. But sometimes, slow and boring is exactly how we want... Um, uh, good news! Test confirmed. This does work as a uh, anti-cave spider measure. Yeah, it's nice that the cave spiders are not smart enough to deal with this. Ah, darn it, I just destroyed one of my lava source blocks. But, mmm, lava. I can see why this deserves a spot in my shrines. Sacred to sacred block. It protects me from cave spiders. You know what? This is the best way to cave. The new favorite weapon of Lux Invictus. Lava buckets at 20 paces. Well, that looks like a cave spider over there that is smart enough. Not- Oh god, that's too smart. Die. <laughs> and I started with seven lava source blocks and only have four left. Slash sad. There we go. Finally, man. I give up. What does it take to light that on fire? You know what? There's something incredibly boring about playing this game correctly. And I maintain that this is the correct approach for dealing with a cave spider spawner. None of this silly fighting, taking it in a fair fight business. None of that. In fact, this might be my new go-to for uh, caving in general. Or mine shafting in general. Any time where I get this nice, neat cave where I can just systematically keep going with two lava buckets leapfrogging. Perfect. I see nothing wrong with this picture. And who knows even what sort of valuable things I'm destroying besides the uh, spider webs. But I'm preserving the value of the cave spider spawner while also turning it into an area that is not going to get me killed. And that's nice. Yeah. That, however, is not. Uh, 
that looks to me like insert another pair of lava buckets to continue, starting from about, I don't know, all the way back here? Of course, the problem with actually successfully taming the cave spider spawner is this means I need to figure out how to actually set up a mob farm. Involving cave spiders, and them not munching my face. Okay, that's rude. Okay, good. That healed my sword a little bit. Hey, zombie, come on over to my window of zombie fighting. I'm not really picky on which window. Though I have got standards, and one of those standards is that my window of zombie fighting is for use in zombie fighting. Creepers are not invited. Unfortunately, the lava is not the be-all and end-all of caving, because it won't flow up nicely, so it's only really useful in mine shafts. Fortunately, I have a mine shaft in need of more lava. I'm pretty sure this is going to find me a uh, hole in the ceiling. Because I had seen that there was an upper level tunnel around these parts. Like, right there. I'm just gonna keep following that on through because I did see, above the cave spider area, this opening up into more trouble. It was not quite where I intended to put my bucket. But that does work as a containment to make sure that uh, I don't get cave spiders falling on me. Now, I hope I didn't break any of my torches down there with uh, that, or that I'm not about to have a uh, light source issue down the bottom. Actually, I think I am about to have a light source issue down the bottom. So. Huh. Does not look like that's created any spawnable spaces. And I love how I'm using one of the two uh, crippling fear, or... How I'm using my first Minecraft fear to fight off my new Minecraft fears. Oh, yay! Skeletons shooting each other. That was what I was trying for, but I like that it succeeded. I can't move that forward without risking that opening. Oh, no. Good news is, though, this appears to be vertically out of range of the cave spider spawner, otherwise I would have already discovered the cave spiders. Well, 
Let's just board up the caves I don't like. Ooh, lava lake. That looks useful. Nice and tasty. Ooh, two lava lakes. And rich. Plenty of delicious burning liquid. Once again, I uh, board up the ravine. Because this is not Titan Craft where ravines are my friend. Let's just pretend that room never existed. Goodbye. Now, let me eat. I had my block up. Okay, you know what? This is the new point at which I just bail on this expedition of caving. Resist the urge to do exactly what I've just started doing. Well, glowberries are sacred. I can't take those down now. That seems as useful a spot as any to leave the lava. If that is too many creepers. Particularly given their proximity to stuff I want not blown up. And a brief interlude before I return to risking my life in the underground. Strategic application? A bone meal. So that my glowing berry vines actually glow. Else what is the point of glowberry? And I'm all out of bone meal, but the temple is looking far more beautifully glowy. Now, time to go back and finish conquering that cave spider spawner as soon as I clean up my inventory a little. And uh, let's resume. No, the question is, down there, a problem. To which the answer appears to be a distinct absence of cave spiders. I can't say I like this room, but I will say that it's generally better to be on the top floor rather than the bottom floor for rooms like that. And hey, there exists a non-zero possibility that one of these will eventually give me diamonds. Is my game sound turned on high enough? I'm going to say 2% uh, is not high enough. Twenty percent might be still not high enough, but at least gives me a non-zero chance of actually hearing something Well, 
then let's just keep slowly moving the lava source blocks on down the slope. Clear out all of the spider webs. But first, actually, let's pick up one of those source blocks and head on over and actually deal with this cave. Right, and let's just kill that dead end so that I don't have to worry about things sneaking up behind me. Or, uh, lose my entire world. Fine. Fine. This is fine. So, as you guys saw, this is another hardcore world over. I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it a lot. My pretty little starter base. My beautiful little temple. But this is also a chance for me to pick back up, start again, build another cute starter base to fall in love with, Build another temple design, this one with a slightly more cohesive theme, I swear. I'm pretty sure that the next temple is going to be even better than the one I've already made, because I've learned some lessons, and even if none of those lessons are helpful for hardcore survival, they are still lessons. And actually, no, I have learned one lesson that is very useful for hardcore survival. I need even more lava. Because if I had lava on both the wings heading into that T intersection, the creeper could not have snuck up behind me and I wouldn't have died. So, even more lava. Beautiful, sacred, shiny uh, death liquid. And uh, this is as good a reason as any to update to 1.18, because that's out now, and I can update to 1.18. And... I hope you guys will stick around to see what take three looks like at trying this. Because I did say at the start of all of this mess that I was going to get a hardcore wither kill. And I was not going to let a little thing like having to completely rebuild from scratch stop me. And so I won't. Try, try, try again. See you all in take three.